back for some more fallouts. We're gonna go do something with Ironsides. The thing we stole. Alright, I don't want you one. Thank you. the combat music is playing. Well, I'll just listen to Radio Freedom. This is Radio Freedom. Mr. Navigator. Ahoy, soldier. The only thing people are Guidance talking about all across the Commonwealth is the Bounty huge dispensed. explosion that the old CIT is site. required. You commence dialogue confirm. with the captain, That was the sir. hidden location of the Institute. And I can also confirm that the Institute has indeed been destroyed. Let me repeat, the Institute has been destroyed. We can confirm that the Brotherhood of Steel used their giant war machine, Liberty Prime, to blast their way into the Institute. The Brotherhood Assault Force then managed to detonate the Institute's fusion reactor, completely destroying the entire underground facility. It still isn't clear what the Brotherhood's ultimate intentions toward the Commonwealth are. But we certainly owe them thanks for freeing us all from the insidious threat of the Institute for the first time in decades. We still have a lot of work to do to bring peace and freedom back to the Commonwealth, but this is certainly a giant step forward. Hi, Captain. You've been of service to our noble vessel. I am pleased you recovered the guidance chip without bloodshed. Though the scavengers have caused us grievous injury, our goals must be nobler than base revenge. Why did you want me to spare the scavengers? I confess they are a blight upon my existence. Those scallywags killed many of my marines. We're down to a skeleton crew due to that filth. But they are citizens of the Commonwealth. Citizens, we're pledged to protect against foreign incursion, which is not without its irony. <laughs> Find I must reward your considerable efforts with the final labor. We stand but a hair's breadth away from embarking on our sacred mission. So now can you tell me what's going on? Complete this task and I will gladly relate our mission. Until then, silence, vigilance. The ship requires turbo pump bearings from a nearby factory. It will undoubtedly be a dangerous mission, but I have faith you will succeed. Oh, by the fishing plant. <sighs> Ooh, an internal nail gun. These guys are the coolest. <laughs> okay, now let's see if we're fine. There we go. Okay, we haven't been to this factory. Look at the Pred one, it looks awesome. It's a hill, it's a Hindenburg, you know? Okay. 
general atomics as opposed to specific atomics. Nya, 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 nya. I'll kill myself real quick. Something's in here. Sounds like a Mr. Gutsy. Oh, Kate apparently admires me. You got a second. I got something I want to say to you. Oh yeah? Of course. What's on your mind? Appreciate it. We've been on the road together for a while. And we've taken some hard knocks. But through all that crap, I notice you've always been sticking by me. You know, watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. I appreciate your trust. Well, you're the first to earn it. It all starts with two waves of humanity I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake, because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit, because they never kicked me out. Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around oh, me. Oh, that's and good. Sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. 18 years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. My God. I'm so sorry. Thanks. But there is more to the story. It would be easy to blame me charm and personality on me parents. But they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of me goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they used me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. I can't believe you tolerated that. I would have killed them all. That's easy for you to say. You weren't there. You have no idea what I went through. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. You did what you had to do, you know? You did what you had to do. Did I? When I closed me eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl. I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate. Stripped bare for your perusal. I'm proud of you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this, but I never expected you to say you were proud of me. I... I, I think I needed to hear that from you. Thank you. Oh yeah, let's go flirting. I'm always here for you, Kate. There's nothing you can say that would ever change that. Oh, uh, I... well, that's... that's not what I expected you to say. Sorry, I didn't realize you cared that much about me. And here I thought I was being stupid, bothering you with me problems. It feels good to know if I need you, you'll be there for me. And I'll always be there for you, too. Okay, Roman gets the fuck around, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but there's a Mr. Handy up there. Best course. nostalgic or something? Get some cap. Never understood Come on, dirty. Yeah. Nothing there after all. Someone or someone. I, I, I'm going to look over here. Now. 
Sorry, what couldn't hear you over the amount of swimming chopper? Okay, how am I missing the traps? Cherry. Tesla. Nice. What is plasma anyway? Shot the bids rise. Oops. Yep, uh, they were willing. There you go. <laughs> Nothing there after all. It's just little old me. Nothing to be afraid of. As if I'd know what to do with myself. Uh, uh, it also sounds like, um... Nick Valentine's voice actors also voice them. I don't, I don't know, though. Uh-oh. There we go. Got it. Oh god, Colonel Gutsy. Bad idea number one, the story. Oh god!
kill them all, God will understand. God, the rads are real. Oh wow, there's a bunch of rads over there. And here. Oh wait, what's what's in here? They gathered millions of mutants. No, thank God. Oh, hey. Can we? No, oh, we can't take out a fusion? That's dumb. Uh, crate. Damn it. Sweet. Why are there so many vertebrates? There are like three vertebrates. There's, there's two that we just saw. And there's a third. I want to go back to the Pred one. Oh shit. What the hell took it out? What just happened? Why'd it go down? Looks like a mutant area. Nope. Even worse. Blood bugs. Oh god, this one's gonna explode! That one is too. Oh my god. There's that one. My anus. See, there's a 50 cal that we got.
Oh, hello. How much is that even? You're gonna be sharing that with both of us, right? Here, where's it? Damn it, I did hey. not mean to do it's that. Fuck. Um, that's what I want you to use. And you can use where this... No! Wait, what did I just... Take? What? Am I on drugs? Yes, put that on. Nice right, little hat. That'll there you be go. worth it. Okay. Let's see. Look at that. Just towards the last one. Yeah, radiation weapons. Pretty good there. So if anything, I'd probably want the next rank of gun nut, but I don't really think we need that. I want to go with this. Because fusion cores lasting longer is really good. Hello? We do ever ever need a lot more fusion cells. Which I think we're going to get a lot from here. gonna check the top floor and we'll get the hell out of here don't you worry it's that scrub now yes critical hits with unarmed melee cometh the trickster okay reading that now really all right let's Get all the way up there. Tough. You should put. Yeah. Scope on that on this weather. Or no. Now let's fix the boop up with this. 
So I assume what they're gonna do. But yeah, I think they're just gonna bring, you know, rockets. Probably like go off into space. That'd be hilarious if that's what it is. Constitution in space. I just want a normal save right now. How in the hell did a ship get Oh out? my god. We could hold out pretty well in a spot like this. Captain Ironsides. Trim the power on the starboard bow. Steady as she goes, Mr. Navigator. Luck willing at long last we'll set sail. Our hero of the hour is to thank. You've earned a double share, sir. Well done. <clears throat> Set sail? On the eve of our voyage, the need for secrecy is long past. Our twin NX-42 rockets will alight and then moor us from this dreaded savings and known. <laughs> the Constitution will launch into the heavens. I knew it. And after, gently land in the ocean. Then we take our rightful place as defenders of the Atlantic. Going to what now? That's ambitious. As they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Mr. Navigator, put her through her paces. We need you, those motherless killers. Prepare to broadside. There's many people See what the hell's going on. 